So you're going to the gym, and you're working out, and you and you've realised that you you have a difference in in strength on either your left hand or your right hand, uh, or your left foot or your left leg versus your right leg. Try and not get too over concerned with uh, the disparity between sides if you're not feeling any type of pain in either either one of your sides. Balance and and being bilateral, which is both sides. Uh, equal is never going to happen. Uh, we open the doors, we do everything with our right hands, or if you're left-handed, we do everything with our left hands. There's going to be a difference in sides. There's going to be a difference in strength deficit. There's going to be a difference in a function and your ability to use it. Now, if that difference is vast, like in one hand you can press the 20s and in the other hand you can press the 10s, that's something that you need to work on. But if it's in, in the moment when you're pushing those weights and you feel like one side is giving up versus the other um, in, in, the, in the latter parts of the, st the stages, I would argue that you just need to continue learning that motion and, and get better technically and a lot of things will work out themselves. We can, we'll never make that bilateral thing uh, equal uh, and a lot of physios earn a lot of great money over trying to make things equal between sides. But if, even if I tell you that we have a diaphragm on one side of our body, which means that we're never equal between two sides. Um, and, you know, most people have a leg length discrepancy as well, which means that your one leg is bigger than the other. Someone, uh, most people have a, a one arm bigger than the other too. So we're never going to be equal. So as long as you're not in pain, as long as it's not vast in terms of the, the, the disparity between the two, and as long as you're, you're getting better technically, and you're going to get stronger on both sides, then that would be uh, my best way to go about that. If you find that you are you do, utilizing things like single arm work and or single leg work, always try and do the weaker side first so that you can do as many reps as you can with that weaker side and then only match the amount of reps that you need to do with the stronger side so that you're not making the disparity any bigger.